okay we are here to learn today how to use adobe connect as a e learning video conferencing platform to deliver our classes to the students now this is since this is a need of our and uh, adobe uh, due to this uh, covid 19 affair no they have uh, they have uh, given a free uh, entrance to their software so you can download adobe connect for free for 3 months so let us see how to create a classroom in adobe connect and how to connect and how to deliver lectures so what you have to do is first you have to go to the adobe connect uh, center so what you have to do is you just simply uh, google out just go to google and uh, you write type adobe connect right Uh, not everyone has to do this you uh, one uh, one teacher of the school that means uh, maybe pgt computer science can create a classroom for his or her school and then that classroom can be shared according to the time table to many teachers right so let me show you how to create this just uh, go for this menu this uh, link adobe web conferencing software adobe connect click on it it will lead you to the page and uh, then here you can see free 90 days access just click on it okay and then uh, it will ask you to log in right it will ask you to log in and uh, your contact information etc will be asked right organization information and here this is very important thing to understand here uh it will ask you what you would like to try out of these three no you should choose adobe connect learning the first one not the meeting or webinar so you have to connect you to choose adobe connect learning right so you just go for this okay you just uh, install the software and it will be free trial for 90 days right now uh, since i have logged in into my account so it is giving like that otherwise you have to create adobe account also maybe it, you will be you will be um, redirected to create adobe account first and then log in and then this menu may come so after creating all this thing no our email for your adobe classroom will be sent to your uh, id email id now this type of email will come to you once you are registered once you are um, logged in into the adobe system they will create the classroom for you and they will send the thing to you like this like so for me the my url is something like this my username is some my email address and password is given random password is given there so using this url you can log in your, into your adobe classroom so i will click on now click on the adobe classroom link and uh, depending upon your computer speed no you will be allowed to uh, reach into your classroom like this now i have to create suppose i have to create a class for uh, teaching chemistry suppose for example i want to teach chemistry and i want to create a classroom for that so what i will do i will simply i will now you can see here it is giving nothing to nothing is there to present because i have not created any class now so what i will do i will simply now it is showing me kamal kant gupta right i am the creator of this room and hence uh, my name is there right so this your administrator name will be coming up here so what you have to do you don't have to register user and all that you just uh, simply ask your uh, email ids of your students that's it that is enough for connecting with them now what what you have to do is you simply uh, will you will go to the uh, training right here you will have training now you can see one virtual classroom is created for my school that is kendri vidyalay number 2 kachra pada right i have created one virtual classroom named as kendri vidyalay 2 virtual classroom kachra pada the id is kv2-01 this is the id right now you can create more uh, virtual classrooms like that in in the name of your uh, say suppose your um, uh, school name right so let us click on this particular thing kendri vidyalay number 2 and how to how to create how to create uh, a virtual classroom that uh, you can be easily known just see the previous menu here you have new virtual classroom click on it create ask it will ask you the details you will fill up the details and the new virtual classroom will be created 
go to the kendri vidyalaya number 2 virtual classroom now here you see i have created class 12 science url is there already already one classroom has been made and self enrollment not enabled option is been chosen so student cannot enroll themselves we have to send them a invitation email right so uh, what what you have to do is now what you have to do is you should uh, you you can create one new virtual classroom uh, like that and uh, you can edit the information of the classroom you can see the recording of that particular classroom like that uh, various things can be uh, seen right so now this is classroom id new classroom you can create another classroom i think uh, here yeah this classroom is for create uh, teaching the this one right and the time was the start time is being given here like this okay so this is uh, there now let us uh, go to the previous menu let us see yeah so let us create a new uh, classroom virtual classroom say for example enter the pc virtual classroom so every day you have to create one virtual classroom and the user will be logged into that particular thing so say for example vc virtual classroom vc vc2 say for example i am taking my second class so vc2 or you can uh, you can name it like uh, chemistry uh, chemistry lecture 2 uh, say for example second lecture of the chemistry and the classroom id you can just you can you can choose any uh, classroom id you can name it anything can do right and you can have a custom url over here so url is also given you can have a custom url so you can just um, create a url over here say for example i am creating url isko kuch bhi naam aap de sakte ho you can give any any name over here so cam i am giving right and the summary this is a classroom hmm bola bola classroom for connecting for conducting sorry conducting chemistry classes right so this is and then you give the start time allow your user to uh, know it beforehand so just give that say for example i want to take the class on 6th so i will choose a 6th for the time being i will taking 5 and i'm i'm uh, i'm scheduling it at say for example now it is uh, 729 so i will schedule it at 745 maybe right so and the duration of the class you make it 1 hour 30 minutes 1 hour or 1 hour 15 minutes whatever you duration you like you just see it and then the language is there now see here enrolled student only option is there so here one option is there anyone who has url for the virtual classroom can enter the room so you click on this okay don't take uh, any uh, enrollment just click on anyone who has the url can enter into the virtual classroom and the rest of the things leave it as it is and go to the next option over here see here there is a next button click on the next button it will be creating your classroom right <coughs> so here it is so this is uh, classroom session is there and uh, then uh, this option is given here now nothing has to be done here okay don't uh, do anything here in this window don't do, do anything just click on next just click on next and go here now you can see here send notification now right send on and you can see there's this these two buttons are disabled now so what you have to do now you just click it there is bug i think maybe so click on this send notification to start date send and then again choose this one send on 5th april and this is all this means it it will send the email the invitation email to them at this particular time and all enrollees uh, recipient are uh, all enrollees don't uh, choose this option choose only to specific email and i am sending to this to my uh, students right for example sumita gupta and kabir i will sending to them right to uh, connect to me at this stipulated time to have this class right uh, well i cannot teach chemistry but uh, let us assume that for the time being now let us um, go for the next uh, option there is next button 
and this this is the custom message they will get uh, so all the custom message is being made for you don't write anything over here everything will be mentioned there and you simply just click on next right click on next and then it will ask you uh, send virtual reminders or not whether you want to send the reminders so before uh, starting your class no uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes before they will it will send so the system will send reminder to your learners automatically right so send reminder also and then also choose only to specific email id and then uh, here you also type the email and uh, make the list of email ready and then paste it over there no problem then next finish and then your classroom will be virtual classroom will be created so this is chemistry lecture 2 virtual classroom is created now there is a button called enter virtual classroom click on that and here you go your classroom will be created now it will this uh, window will give you two options it will either ask you to open this thing on the web uh, con, uh, web uh, interface or it will ask you to download the adobe connect software and then open it with right so I am I have already downloaded Adobe Connect uh, client software. So you just click on Adobe Connect client software and it will open it. And here option is given. If you don't have, you can download the Adobe Connect application from here and it will work. Right. Or you can just click on the classic view. The classic view is over here and you can just uh, come to that thing. Right. Now Adobe Connect is over here. So now this window will come. So as soon as you are uh, entering, no, this window will come. I have uh, kept uh, this window open for you. So this type of thing will come. As soon as you are uh, going for that uh, thing, no, this window will come and uh, start learning, uh, teaching uh, the students. Now, uh, let me show you uh, how your students will be notified. Let us see the notification given to your students. Let us find out. Let us check our email, whether the student have got the notification or not. So I am going to check the student's uh, email address. So for example, I am going to check the uh, my son's email address whether he has got the notification or not. Um, I think he has got the notification. Yeah, this one. You see here, the Adobe Connect Invitation Chemistry Lecture 2. Click on this and then here you go. All the thing will be given there and a link to your class, right? This is the link to your class and remember uh, this chem key, uh, keyword you have given and this uh, has made the URL. You click on your student will click on this URL and they will be connected to the class and they will connect it to the this particular class and they will be also act open with Adobe Connect and they will be connecting to your class and there in your Adobe Connect software you will start presenting your class. I will uh, show you how to present the class right now. So here we are uh, for the Adobe Connect session. Uh, this is an online learn e-learning platform where you can uh, produce uh, good video video conferencing uh, uh, material uh, and you can uh, connect to your uh, students on a real time basis uh, to give your uh, demo classes or uh, give your sessions right so here we will see how this uh, software can be used i have connected i have downloaded this adobe connect uh, from adobe website and uh, it is free for uh, 90 days uh, for this COVID-19 uh, thing. No, uh, it is. It is. It has been uh, freed by the company for uh, the use of uh, for a period of uh, 90 days. So you can use it for a period of 90 days, right? So let us uh, now go to the thing that uh, what is to be done. Now, as you can see that uh, we have uh, things on our screen. Uh, this is uh, how the environment looks like and uh, you can you can just um, connect with your audience and uh, uh, deliver your classes over here right so now let me uh, these are the layouts of the, your classes you can you can go to any layout this is the lobby layout which is given here and uh, as you can see here you can just uh, connect to my connect my audio for connecting your audio you can mute your audio too. You can connect to your uh, webcam, and as you can see, uh, it will ask you to connect uh, to your uh, webcam, and and you can just uh, click uh, start sharing. The webcam will be on, but uh, it will not uh, start sharing your uh, uh, photo. Still, uh, you are uh, right. Uh, you are not uh, allowing it to do it, right? So that webcam will be uh, showing your image, and um, then. Uh, 
there are things like uh, raise hands so if anybody has doubt he can he or she can raise hand he, uh, he or she can agree suppose your viewers are agreeing to your uh, things then you, uh, they can agree they can disagree with you they can step away and there are many things that they can do and it's a very easy platform where uh, it is a self learning platform where where you can learn um, of your own yeah, so uh, basically it's not a very complex thing over here now let me show you how to uh, put uh, a new uh, image or something to share so share my screen option is there and uh, share whiteboard option is also there so suppose you want to teach the class so what you can do is you can uh, share your whiteboard also to a particular class so say for example i am sharing my whiteboard right so uh, a whiteboard will come here and you can start writing on this whiteboard uh, it's quite simple you can start writing with a pen uh, i have attached a pen tablet with this pc so uh, not pc macbook actually so <laughs> this uh, 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 whiteboard is over here and you can just use uh, make use of this whiteboard if you have a good pen tablet you can just work upon it and you can present it uh do not worry if you don't uh, want to write uh, you can also put uh, some powerpoint over here also there are there are options uh, where you can put uh, powerpoint so you have to search for that option um i think uh, if you are clicking on stop sharing and then you have uh, shared uh, share my screen share document right and from here you can just uh, upload uh, your file you can upload files uh, browse my computer you can open up any particular file say for example if i am opening this file uh, so this is not a powerpoint file actually uh, you have to search for powerpoint file and uh, you can go to that thing say suppose i am going to down download options right and in the download options uh, you can get uh, yeah this one pdf file let us open a pdf file over here right so it is going to upload it will take some time based on your, your um, the speed of your internet and uh, this is how it goes on now let me show you uh, how this will be shown on the client's uh, computer say for example um, uh, i want to uh, observe how this is so here it is uh, as uh, uh, it is viewed on my screen that uh, this same thing can be viewed on your screen means uh, the url of this course no you can share the url of this course and uh, the url of this course will be shared to any person uh, on uh, in in uh, his uh, or her email right and uh, using that url that person can log in to this particular uh, class and he can use and so quite a good thing that uh, uh, now you can see here uh, this pdf has been loaded so you can go through like, like that and you can upload uh, say suppose uh, powerpoint and you can start teaching so it's quite a easy thing now here you can see that your participant number of participants is showing a zero right in the left side you see and the presenter presenter is kamal kant gupta uh, um, my name is given here and uh, uh, i can just uh, make uh, myself participant also right i can mute attendee i can control the microphone of the attendee i don't want to listen to them i will just stop uh, um, uh, their microphone and i will speak and then i will allow them to speak so like that uh, it can go on the things can go on right and uh, uh, you have to connect uh, you have to connect with the, my class uh, using the url i will share you on your, your email right so when you will click on that url you will be getting connected to this uh, adobe connect through adobe connect software or a web page uh, both way you can connect to this particular uh, platform so either you have to download the adobe connect uh, software it will ask you to download the adobe connect software or uh, 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 simply using a web application and uh, 
uh, you can log into the this platform but provided that your uh, this uh, uh, flash is there on your uh, browser right flash is installed in your browser so that's what uh, is uh, the thing over here and uh, camera i don't know why the camera is not coming here uh, let me see let me check out uh, it is due to maybe due to the um, uh, bad bandwidth uh, i am using it my in my home and i have exhausted my data the whole data is exhausted for the day so it may be like uh, due to that or uh, my my students may see my picture over there so it's not a matter that uh, my sound will go there and my means my uh, um, uh, lecture will be delivered to their place and uh, they can just uh, uh, listen to it and uh, they can react interact right so active speakers are being there and you can see uh, when i am speaking uh, this is blinking no this is speaker icon is blinking over here so this is a small uh, system adobe connect but uh, with a premium cost Remi remember that this is uh, free for uh, three months but uh, it costs nearly for one month usage is cost is it cost uh, 20000 i think for um, for 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 hundred number of users, right? So hundred number of student, it will cost uh, twenty thousand. But for the time being, they have uh, kept it free for three months, and so quite a good system and not vulnerable to uh, hackers and all that. So you can easily use. It is a old system. Even uh, bigger institutes like IGNU, etc., they are using it. And uh, I hope this will be helpful. And I will also show you how to create a class using the adobe account what you have to do no first uh, you have to go to log into the adobe connect uh, web page create account adobe account if you have a adobe account then no problem you use that adobe account download that uh, um, uh, whatever file they are asking you to download they will ask you the simple questions your name and uh, your user preferences your location your uh, institution name etc etc and they will allow you to uh, use the software so there they will send uh, your uh, login their your url and the login id and password to your email address right from there uh, i'm i'm showing you how they, uh, they will send uh, i will show you my email address where they have sent me that uh, uh, yeah this one this type of email address they will send start connecting uh, with your free 90 day trial right and they will uh, tell you uh, this is this is the account url you can see here this is my account url and the password is also given here right so you uh, one can just go through this password and url and you they, they, they can connect and when you are getting this url and password you have to log in and then create your class there is an option called create class listen one more important thing i want to tell you here that uh, when you are going to use this particular package no there are three options there are three options adobe connect uh, meeting adobe connect learning and adobe connect something i don't know that i don't remember the third one so you have to choose uh, from the list you have to choose adobe connect learning because it is a free e-learning platform means web, web conferencing video uh, web conferencing right the third one was web conferencing so adobe connect web uh, you have to discard adobe connect meeting and web conferencing you have to simply um, uh, look for adobe connect learning so uh, this is how it is created and uh, once you are logging into the account no you uh, you will understand uh, yourself that how to create a, uh, a class and how to log into this particular thing okay so uh, this is how it goes on so uh, i hope this is this will clear your doubt what type of software you want to use for 30 90 days at least we have something in our hand uh, some good thing is there in our hand and uh, i hope you will use it thank you